I love the Bob Cajun on my memories. I don't dislike Bob Cajun now. I, I do like it. I love it. But it's, it's, I, I'm nostalgic for the Bob Cajun that, of, my, of my childhood, I must admit. When you become of an age, um, your memories become really important to you, and they, they seem to flash. You know, like, even when if I go downtown, you know, I'm going to the library, I'm doing something, all of a sudden, it's like every place now, Bob Cajun kind of gives me a, what's the word, um, it's a trigger, it triggers a memory. Which is kind of neat, because I, 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 I'm not sure my children have the same memories of Bob Cajun that I do. It was a different, it wasn't the same town when they were little. The whole town was your playground, like the main street, the locks, the, the, the lakes. Uh, but now you can't, you know, now you wouldn't, kids wouldn't play in the main street or they wouldn't be down by the locks. The boats are twice as big. The bridge is always swinging. Uh, um, by the time, I remember when we moved further out of town, by the time I got home, my mother knew everything that we'd, I'd done on the during the day because someone had told her. <laughs> so I guess it made you, it made you better kids because you knew you were, it was going to be, uh, it was going to be, your parents would know by the time you got home. You know, it, true sense is, you know, it takes, what's the saying? Uh, it takes a village to raise a child. When I was a kid, I, 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 there truly was a sense of that, I think.